Today I am using the trailer here to go pick up a load of free wood chips. Our recycling center has always had a very large wire cage that they fill up for people to come and load up uh, wood chips in the, their truck or um, I've even used trash cans before to take to the house to the front garden and stuff or for the yard or wherever you need wood chips. But we've done at least four pickup loads and Tony a few weeks ago said, why don't you ask them if they can just use the front end loader and dump it into the back of the truck so we don't have to do it with the shovel. And so the other day I stopped by and asked and sure enough, they won't do it in a vehicle. They will do it on a trailer. They do it at a certain time every day. Now this new trailer is aluminum, it's lightweight, so it's real easy for me to load up, I'd say. I know it can be lifted pretty easily. This is the first time I'm gonna use it myself, but it has holes in the sides. <laughs> so the wood chips would just fly out. What I'm going to do is once I get there, I'm gonna lay down this large tarp that we have let them load the wood chips up onto that and then put a big drop cloth over it, strap it down so I can get it back home. Um, they said to be there at 3.30. Um, I don't know if that's the start time, if it's 3.30 to 5 or whatever, but it's 3 o'clock now and I've got to get the tire undone, the security, what do they call those things, the boot unlocked and get it hooked up and get over there. So, time to get to it. I already took the wire off of the spare tire, which Tony got a holder for that mounts onto the side of the trailer, but he hasn't got it on there yet. Um, this is a tire lock that I got for a different trailer that I had. I don't know which key it is. So, I'm gonna try them off. There we go. See, and it just slides off. And uh, that keeps people from stealing it as easily. I'm sure a lot of y'all already know what that is, but I thought it was ingenious, so I thought I'd share it. Next thing. So it's a ball hitch lock. Again, I don't know which key it is. That's the one I just used, I think. Let me try this one. Um, may have parked too close to it. I don't think that one's it. Lord, help me. Okay, so the key just goes in, and turn it, and turn it. All right, so this is the ball. Pay for it just to work. This is the ball hitch. You just turn the key, and this part here comes up, and 
this part comes out. In a perfect world, this would go well. Okay, this is a ball hitch lock. It has a, a ball up in there just like this and it goes up and this holds it down. It makes it, it's more theft protective, anti-theft, whatever. So you turn the lock, this comes up. Start, finish. I'm back. Okay, you turn the key. This thing comes up after a little bit of finagling and possibly beating it out with a hammer. Um, it's not saying I did that. Anyway, this pin comes off. You unclip it, remove the pin. This pops up and out it comes. I would like to say that I was simple, but it took me about five minutes. Anyway, I gotta load it up.
hay, man. This pan goes back on. Not that I can imagine it ever coming off. This is your lights. Goes into there. It would be fun for me if I knew where these went. I remember now. Okay, typically what I used to do is cross them. They go underneath your tail bumper. They go underneath your bumper on these hooks. I always cross mine. These aren't very long. Okay, from the back, forward. Okay. See how it is here? From the back, forward. It's really not that hard. If you haven't done it in a while, which I'd say it's been about two years for me, you forget. Next time it'll be easier. I wore this outfit. As I said, I wouldn't do any manual labor in it because it's cute and new. I didn't want to get it dirty. That's not working out very well. That was one scoop and it filled up the bed. He's a real nice guy. He said, just to let him know, uh, call before I come, make sure he's not busy. 
I'm gonna put the drop cloth down and secure it. That was way easier than trying to shovel it all in by hand. I am five foot tall. I can't see the top of it right here. Let's see. Up there's the top. He said that this is a new pile this year. I haven't seen a pile of mulch like this before out here. He said it's new. So normally there's just tiny little ones back there and I didn't know this was an option, but I am glad to know it now because my garden is gonna have all the wood chips that's little heart desires.